Hello everybody, it is 7.43 this morning, and I hope and pray everybody out there is doing well, staying strong in our Lord, Jesus Christ. Oh, I figured I'd come down here, do my video, and um, just do a little, relax a little bit, you know? The dreams can be pretty doggone wild, man. I mean, just like intense sometimes. Um... I wanted to share a few things, you guys. I also want to go over like a little bit about fasting, what it says in scriptures, because there's many different types of fasting for different uh, prophets, even, you know? I mean, look at Moses. Moses, uh, he was like 40 days, 40 nights up there with God without uh, eating anything or drinking. But you guys, also, you got to remember being in the presence. That's, I mean, Christ did a 40-day you know, fast when he, he without eating. When the Satan came up to him to tempt him, but you notice when Moses did it, he was with the Lord, and nobody came up to Moses to try to tempt him. So you guys, everything is different in scriptures, and you don't have to feel like everything applies to you because it doesn't. It's different for each individual that were uh, predestined, preordained from the beginning with. Uh, God, okay, I know it, a lot of it's hard to understand, but uh, look at even in First Daniel, when uh, they were taken captive into Babylon, Daniel, he purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the king's wine or the meat. Now, for me, you guys, I, I, I told you I went to fish now because, you know, with everything the, that they're injecting into cattle today and that goes from uh, animal to people okay um, it reminds me of you know Daniel where he says he purposed in his heart he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat or wine and he said give us pulse to eat you know and then check us out in 10 days and he had and God gave him understanding okay and what does it say with wisdom get understanding okay we're not all that but what what you are because your eyes are opened you've been predestined you've been chosen from the beginning that's why you see that's why it says you have the spirit of God you've been quickened in with Christ the world cannot receive these messages. It says an evil and wicked generation will not receive a sign except for the sign of Jonah. Okay. Now, here, we're seeing it. They're not. And then there's a group of people that do see it. And then they're in fear. And, uh, and that's always felt like something's wrong with that. Why would you be in fear? You know, we shouldn't be. Doesn't it say God did not give us a spirit of fear? You know, we should, he didn't open our eyes to be fearful. Okay. And then it's another thing. When Sometimes when I hear like some of these videos, these people sharing their dreams of horrible testimonies. Okay. I mean, horrible. And then they're, 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 they're expressing everything with extreme fear and they're weeping and, you know, does that sound like the Spirit of God? To me, it doesn't. All right? Because I know God's Word, and it says He did not give us a spirit of fear. So when I see people that are that way, there's just a whole lot going on on YouTube, you guys. More than I really even care to see, you know? It's just unreal what uh, the extremes people are going through, you know? What they're doing. And then I'm not sure that some of it's not even deliberate. Because remember this, you guys, we've got all kinds of things going on. Even in uh, uh, some parts, you know, where it says, uh, you know, we have not been given the spirit of fear, you guys. And when I see these things happening, it just, it just really surprises me. You know, people having the spirit of fear. You know, this is the first time I've been, you know, I've, I've sat here before watching this out here. 
But I've never really looked at it this closely. You know, the uh, some of these birds on the water. <clears throat> but you guys, we, we didn't get our eyes open by God to have a spirit of fear. We were quickened in with Christ. God gave us uh, understanding. We also know, that's what I'm saying you guys, it's flooded in YouTube. Where there's just a, it's a mixed bag of things that aren't good. And this is where we have to be resting in the Lord. Trusting in the Lord. He, didn't, he, he quickened you in with Christ so that you would be ready making yourselves ready in the blood of the lamb you know it'd be a fearful thing if if uh this came on you unaware and why is it that we've been trying to tell people and people go oh it's, it's scary man it's scary you know but they're not talking and we know scripture says you know we're supposed to talk bold as you ought to be you know we're supposed to be bold. There's going to be a time when no. There's going to be a time when we we clearly get away. Because you're not going to... Like when they're reviling against you, a lot of them, you don't want to be uh, uh, trying to uh, push it. You know, because we're going to know we're right at the edge of this. And there's going to be a time when you're just going to go back to your place and get out of the way. Well, remember this, you guys, the fasting and everything, okay? Um, it's always, it's all different throughout the scriptures with different people. Some, you know, like, look at the time Jesus made all that, uh, fed the 5,000 or something like that that were with him. And he said that the people that have been following him have, have, in, have not eaten in three days. Didn't say they were fasting. They just didn't have any food, you know, and they just kept following him. And uh, he said, you know, he, he fed them because he, he was worried that they might pass out when he sends them away. That they may pass out and fall along the way. You know, three days without eating. You know? And it doesn't say anything about them uh, purposely fasting. You know, sometimes I've, I've went without food for quite a while too. But when you do deliberately, purposely want to fast and do something different, I get fasting, I guess, it could be in different ways. Like, look at Daniel, man. They ate nothing but pulse and water. You know, I'll tell you one time, you guys, I did. I did, a, I did probably more than a five-day fast, but I wasn't doing it to the Lord. I was doing it because I was refusing to do with anything with these people that were offering. They offered me a lot of money. And they said, if you speak less about Jesus Christ, we'll turn your life around. And I said, that will never happen. And my phone stopped ringing. My business got real bad for a long time. Literally, I lost my license. I couldn't pay them no more. Couldn't afford to pay my rent no more. Nothing. And uh, it had a big impact. You know, so, I mean, I went without eating for quite a while. But let me tell you, I started seeing things. Like really seeing things. And I think that's because it was pleasing to the Lord. I seen where they were smiling at me. I'm talking when I was wide awake. It wasn't no dream. Where they were smiling at me. Went across the ceiling in the Walmart. Smiling at me. And uh, you guys, what this is about, we're, we came here to live according to God's word. Okay, God wants us to live being what's pleasing to him. Okay, look at Cornelius, that guy. He fasted for several days, okay? Doesn't say whether he drank water or ate bread or not, but uh, the Lord appeared to him, right? And then his whole household were all sitting around when Peter was called up and showed up. And... Uh, They all started speaking, speaking, and like the Holy Ghost came upon them, all of them. But it only says Cornelius was fasting. Didn't say the whole house was fasting, and the Holy Spirit came upon them. And then he goes, well, you know, and Peter said, well, I'm, he baptized everybody. 
You know, that's when the angel appeared to Cornelius and said, send for Peter and his whole family. There's different things, you know what I mean? You guys, you didn't have your eyes, you had your eyes open by the Spirit of God to be quickened in with Christ because you were predestined from the beginning to salvation, okay? This is something you have. You're not going to lose that unless you willfully want to go back into the world and start sinning and living the way we used to, you know, which I don't believe that. Um, but uh, rest in the Lord, man. The important thing is, is your faith. Believing in the Lord, that He opened your eyes, He quickened you with Christ, <clears throat> because God loves you. And if somebody out there wants to fast, man, look. Sometimes what I do, I'll take and make rice, and then I'll put vegetables in it, and I'll eat that till it's gone. Sometimes it'd be two, two days, three days. And with when I eat that rice, I always notice that I'm hungry uh, in the evenings before I go to bed. I'm hungry. Because there's no meat. I think the meat and stuff like that takes longer to digest in you. But when you eat the vegetables, it goes through your system faster. Wherefore, you're going to be hungrier. And I drink fluids. Either way, I'm going to drink fluids. I just stay stay away from the uh, real sweet stuff. Uh, you might have to put coffee away. Sugar. Tea. Caffeine. Things with caffeine. You know, that you, you might want to, you know, consider when you fast not having that as well. You know, they didn't have that back then. And uh, just be very careful when you're fasting. You know, especially some people out there, you might be on medication. Um, just be very careful. But anyhow, I'm going to share one of my dreams last night, you guys. What I told you also about these dreams, man, people that's very fearful and stuff like that, I believe I had a dream of hell, okay, once. But when in this dream, I was like a spectator, you know, and I'm like going through it. It was almost as if I was seeing where I took a mask off of somebody that was wearing a mask and then walking through all these different places, uh, seeing like serpents coming up out of the ground. Uh, it was just very weird, but it was definitely, I believe it was hell. And, uh, you guys, we are in Christ. Do you not have a spirit of fear? I wouldn't even, uh, let my ear, uh, be entertained by somebody that's going through a fearful ex experience because, uh, there's a lot of deceptions out there, you guys. Remember, Satan comes as an angel of light. And his ministers come as righteousness. This is why it's so important. you got to remember now, you're in Christ. And it says no man needs to teach you. Um, you need to be just in the word of God. And trusting in him and your salvation. Knowing who you are. You've been chosen. We've been chosen. Because, I mean, look at the world can't receive what we know. This is amazing. <clears throat> so you know, by the grace of God, we've been saved through what Christ did. You know, we were quickened in with him. And just remember that. And uh, look at Daniel, first Daniel, man, when he did a, when he purposed in his heart, he wouldn't defile himself with a portion of the king's meat or the wine. He just drank water and pulse, vegetables. I do that sometimes, you guys. And uh, everybody, you know, you can do a 24-hour fast. You know, if you want to do a two-day fast, just be careful whatever you do. And and remember, this fast is just personal with you and the Lord, with God. It's not something um, that your salvation depends on. You know, but we need to be uh, praising the Father and the Son all the time. And... Uh, thanking him for this you know we've been given a mighty gift here you guys and we we had this from the beginning of time so i say when we look at what we have it's like awesome it's awesome 
anyhow, um, yeah, then uh, one of the dreams I had, it was, like I said, it's wild, man. Um, I was in the Atlantic. There's a, two of them specifically that I had last night. There was a group of people, and I didn't like this place where I was at. I didn't like it. And it felt like these people were not good. They were bad people. And uh, they were like saying, okay, well, we want to know. It was like I was in an industrial work area like or something. And then there was a mask. Somebody had their face, their back to me. And then a machine came up and took a mask off of somebody's face. Took it off of his face. And then the other guy was looking at me and they were like almost... Uh, um, I don't know how you'd say that, um, sarcastic, going, I want to know, are you going to work with us? And like, I, like, would I work with them? And I'm like, you know, no, I'm not, I'm not going to be working with you guys. I didn't like any of these people. I felt they were all wicked and evil. You know, and it felt very not good. But, uh, you guys, I had no spirit of fear. Okay, and then I moved into another dream where I was like in the uh, Atlantic, the cold part of the ocean, and I seen this one big, like, fishing vessel that was being lowered into the water, and it was like a great white shark, the, the shell of it was, and then they were on the top, fishing. And I'm not sure what that means, if it doesn't, if it's not like the spirits... They're, they're able to enter into these things, okay? They're able to enter into them. And there was some woman in there. She was, like, screaming. She fell in the water screaming. And uh, I'm, like, looking, like, what's, what's, you know, I'm not, I'm not understanding. Why are you even screaming? Because uh, it didn't make sense to me. And uh, anyhow, then I'm on like a little a shallow thing where my feet can barely stand on it. Another person on the other end. And it's like a rocking horse. Okay, but it's very thin and shallow. And we're in the water. And then he's trying to cause me to lose my balance, which I didn't. <clears throat> and then uh, another guy got on something else. And then all of a sudden we're both rocking going into the water. And it was like ice, ice, freezing water. And again, it didn't bother me. And then uh, some guy, and then I was underneath there. I had kept my eyes open so I could see. And uh, this time, you guys, where I wish I could just go, okay, time to fly. And then <laughs> to jump and go Psh, sailing through the sky, you know? Because I can do that if. I can get control of the dream, you know, but uh, anyhow, I didn't, and then there was somebody back there that threw in something, I think trying to scare me, and then when I looked back at it in the water, it was like a dolphin, you know, it was a, like a dummy dolphin, yeah, you guys, it's just a lot of, uh, be at peace and trust in the Lord. We don't have to have a spirit of fear. Some of the things that I see, I don't know if I see it because I'm being made ready for something else. I don't know. But either way, I know my eyes have been opened. I know we've been quickened in with the Lord. And we see, we know, and I've had them, I've had them like approach me like years ago in 2014. They approached me about paying me lots of money. Just like ridiculous money and stuff, you know? And different things. And I was, they told me they'd make me rich, you know? And that, that's the weird part for me. Because uh, it's just hard to believe, you know, that something like that would happen. But it did. And uh, so there's, there's something going on. I don't have, I don't understand it all yet but I do know they know me they know you they know all of us and uh, we belong to the Lord and they know that but uh, we just stay steadfast follow the Lord trust in him 
and uh, you know, be ready. Just be ready. I am. Yeah, I stay focused. I don't know what's gonna happen from night to night, but uh, I stay focused. Um, okay, you guys, you remember this with the fasting, okay? Um, Mary, I believe it was Mary that was asking me about that. And, uh, you know, yeah, there's different ways you can do it. Definitely different ways. You know, also, look at the, you know, remember what I said, Jesus was tempted after 40 days of fasting by Satan? But then there's only one other person I know of that did the 40-day fast without eating. Not a fast, but he was in the presence of God and he didn't eat or drink anything for 40 days. But see, he wasn't tempted by the devil either. Okay, and then uh, there's just different things that different people did. You know, Daniel did things differently. He didn't do it all the same. But there was a long time where he, you know, uh, still received the spirit of, you know, God. Look at the people that were uh, with Cornelius, his family and high house people, you know. Cornelius is the only one that fasted. And yet all of them received the uh, Holy Spirit. You guys, what matters is our heart, how we're living, following the Lord. And don't, uh, don't indulge yourself into this world. We've got to be separated from it. Satan's the prince of it. And our, we were called, and we had our eyes opened by the Holy Spirit, man. We received the Holy Spirit when our eyes were opened. You know that? That's the truth. When our eyes, just like Cornelius, those people, when they received the Holy Spirit, they started speaking in tongues. All right? We didn't. I didn't. But my eyes, I started seeing things like never before. You know, so we received the Holy Spirit then. And and, it, and, it, and then it says you don't want to do anything to cause it to flee from you. You know, we have it now. The Holy Spirit. That's why we see and they don't. Now all these other people that want to live in fear and all that. You know, I don't, you know. I don't know, I wouldn't want to be that way. You know, because fear is not trusting in God. And then the Word of God also says, no fear monger. Anybody that's fearful won't enter the kingdom of heaven. You know? Now, you know, when we see things are uh, going to the extreme the other way, like it's becoming darker and darker and people are coming, turning more against us, we still don't have to be in fear, but we can separate. We can go into our chambers and shut the door. Just get away from them. Because it is. It's going to wax worse and worse, even though we've been seeing this. Just don't be... Uh, don't be fearful of it. Just enter your chambers, shut your door. You know? Me, now if I have a cup of tea, I'm going to have some of that uh, decaffeinated tea. You know, the herbal tea or something like that that's, you know, without the caffeine. You know, have that and get you some crackers or something, you know, or enter your door or chamber, shut your door. We haven't had our eyes open to be handed over to this, okay? This is going to only happen to the wicked. That's why the Word of God says, evil will destroy the wicked, okay? The fearful, the unbelieving, the ungodly. And sadly, we've seen a lot of that. I've tried talking to a lot of people and just they can't receive it. If the Holy if they don't have the Holy Spirit, they can't receive it. You know? So you guys remember who you are in Christ, okay? And if you feel like you want to do something different, fasting, um, have the pulse. Like I said, sometimes I'm gonna make that when I get back today. What I'll do is take a cup of rice, and I'll take a can of peas. And uh, I got these 
gazabo beans or whatever they're called. I'll put that in it. And uh, then I put a little soy sauce in it. You know, to flavor it up. But like I said, you guys, it's, uh, you know, I end up feeling hungrier earlier because it doesn't, uh, process, you know what I mean, it's, it goes through our system faster, I think meat and stuff like that can take uh, a lot longer to digest and stuff, which I'm not eating it anymore other than fish, I might have fish two or three days out of the week, that's about it, but anyhow you guys, God bless each and every one of you, stay strong, you don't have to make this difficult. You really don't. It's going to be difficult enough on its own. Rest in the Lord. Trust in Him. Be at peace. And uh, remember this, man. It says evil will destroy the wicked. Yeah, that's probably going to be, come on, the fearful. We don't have to be, I'm not fearful at all about this, man. I'm not even worried about my life. But I'm not, you know, I'm just taking it as it comes, whatever it is, you know, and I'm like, what, you know, this is like, wow, you know, you, I've met a lot of people who say they know, and it's just a scary thing, and I'm going, why? It's the end of time, but you shouldn't be fearful. It'd be fearful to be spit out, you know, 